so Senator McCain uh, got his blood clot removed, and that was successful, thank heavens. But they found uh, that he has brain cancer. And he's in his 80s now, and I, I, I hope that him and his family choose the best treatment for him, whether it be chemotherapy or radiation. But I hope he defeats us. I really do. I hope he uh, beats cancer because he is actually one of the best Republicans in Senate um, that, I, um, that I admire and respect. I don't always agree with him, but here's the thing. At least McCain puts country and people first, unlike other Republicans in Congress. Uh, very few actually do what McCain does, and Lindsey Graham is another one who puts country and people first and party second. Um, but uh, Mr. McCain, I, I, uh, I, my condol, my, my sympathy, and um, my best wishes go to you and your family at this moment. And I, and I, sir, sorry, seriously wish you good luck in defeating this type of cancer. Um, once again. What you do for this country is far more admirable than what Trump's doing. And um, to quote Keith Oberman, I'd weep with gratitude if he was the POTUS right now. And I agree with Keith Oberman on that point. If you were our president right now, Mr. McCain, I would have a great sense of pride knowing that you're, you, you would be uh, the president of this nation because you are far more qualified to be president than tangerine man in the white house right right now anyway um i just want to make a quick video on that and um once again mr mccain and his family again my sympathies and best wishes see ya